Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing a half an hour speed clean. My mum is arriving this afternoon and the house just needs to be sorted. It's not like particularly dirty, I would say it's more just messy. <laughs> um, so I need to kind of tidy everything away and then I am going to give everything like a wipe down, a hoover and a mop. I have got myself a little cleaning caddy here. I went into Aldi or Aldi or Lidl yesterday, I can't remember which one of the two, I think it was Aldi, and I love their centre aisle. This little caddy was in their centre aisle, I think this is actually something you would normally have if you have like a baby and you are, um, you kind of like have a little changing station for your baby, but I decided it's going to be my cleaning station. So I've got that, so I'll just take that round with me as I clean. I've got this on, but I think I'm going to be hot in about four and a half minutes, so that'll probably come off quite soon. But yeah, I'm just going to first of all show you what the house looks like now, then I'll set a 30 minute timer, and then I'll come back at the end and show you what it looks like after. I feel like I can get a lot done in 30 minutes, and I literally only have 30 minutes to do this, because I'm going out in a minute, so, well, in 30 minutes, or about 45 so yeah, let's get going. Let me quickly show you what the house looks like and then I'm going to get speed cleaning with some gloves on too because I've just had my nails done. Right, so here is the current situation of the house. So like it is very, very messy. However, it's not like dirty because we do keep on top of the cleaning in the house, but because it's messy, it looks dirty and obviously everything still needs a hoover and a mop and a wipe down um but we do like I said keep on top of the cleaning so as you can see here <laughs> I need to put the washing away sort this dining table out I just need to like spruce up this area and then give it a good um clean because this actually is dirty it's been so muddy and we had my friend's dog yesterday so they kept coming in and out of the house and they've just brought loads of mud in there this isn't so bad but um we do need to still sort the place out. I've got a bit of stuff to put in the dishwasher, a bit of washing up and putting away. And then into my mother's bedroom over here. Like, do you see what I mean? Just stuff, just stuff. We had the decorator here yesterday, so I just need to put all of that stuff in the shed. And then this is my mum's bedroom. As, as you can see, it is just a little bit messy. Everything, again, just needs to be put away. But we did recently just mop and hoover the floor, but I'm still just going to give it another go over. Sort her bed out, give her some nice towels. This is her bathroom. Oh, yeah, we had some wallpaper put up in the house, but I'll show you guys, like, in more detail soon. So this is where I wash Lulu and just needs a bit of a going over this is all a bit messy and then i'll just again like clean everything in here because this does need a clean and then this room is quite tidy we again oh just turning the light off oh how did that not um just needs a little bit of a spruce up and then yeah this is another room we just had redecorated but i'll show you that in a bit more detail another day um, this again needs another tidy and a clean and definitely a hoover and a mop and that is it so let's get going right so the timer has begun I always feel like half an hour is a long time but when it comes to cleaning it just goes by so quickly so as you can see I have got so much washing on my washing line this is two loads worth of washing so I do feel like this is actually going to take me a little bit of time to sort of fold away because there is so much here so I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible I don't iron I just when I hang the washing up I try to hang it up as kind of neatly as possible kind of wrinkle free as possible I shake things out and then when I fold them up I kind of like iron with my hand as I fold it up to make every like to try and get all of the creases out basically so once I finish doing that I'm just going to start to tidy everything away put everything back where it's meant to be because I feel like everything does have a place in our house but people don't normally put things back where they're meant to be and I definitely I'm one of those people as well. I'm not blaming it on everybody else. It's me as well. So on this table here, I've just had so many presents to wrap. So I've got like more presents here that I need to wrap for my niece's birthday. And I've also just got lots of working things here as well. So I'm just gonna tidy everything away and then I'm just gonna wipe down the table. I always like to kind of start top to bottom when I clean so that anything I wipe off tables or surfaces can go on the floor. And then at the end, I hoover and mop. That way, anything that's been brushed off the side or table will get hoovered up when I do that 
Our dishwasher is completely full, so I'm actually just going to hand wash these last few bits that are in the sink. And I don't have time to dry them with the tea towel, so I'm just gonna leave them on the side here, and then they can kind of like air dry, and I'll put them away at the end of my clean. I now just wanna tackle my mum's room. So like I said, we have actually cleaned this quite recently, so what I just need to do is tidy up her bed and tidy up our desk area, but I will give the floor a hoover and a mop a little bit later on. Once our mum's room's done, I'm just gonna go around and sort the kids' playroom out. This again has recently been cleaned. It's just needing a little bit of organizing and pillow fluffing to make it look a little bit nicer. Then it's time to get on with my mum's bathroom. So this room is the one that I want to spend most of my time on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to give it a deep clean so I haven't got enough time. And I have just realized that I've only got 12 minutes left on my timer. So I'm just gonna quickly clean the shower screen. I'm just using some glass cleaner. So sometimes I use Vical on this, which is a lime scale remover, but then like kind of every other time I will then use glass spray. And I feel like the glass spray really makes it shine. So today I'm gonna be using that and then I'll just go ahead and clean the shower tray as well as the sink the toilet and wipe down the surfaces as well I really like to wear gloves when I clean because like I said I did just have my nails done but also I find that if I don't wear gloves when I clean my hands get so so dry so I did buy some gloves the other day at the shop but I can't seem to be able to find them so I'm actually wearing these like industrial gloves that I've had for ages but they do the trick. So I'll just keep on wearing those whenever I need to clean down any surfaces. Now that the bathroom's done, it's time to get on with hoovering. I was gonna get the industrial hoover out for this, but I feel like I don't have enough time. I'm a bit panicky because I've only got a couple of minutes left. So I'm just going to get our Dyson vacuum out and go around with that. I always have to put our Dyson vacuum on the high setting. And the reason for that is because I know it's winter and I think everyone is just bringing in lots of bits of mud and obviously the kids have football and they bring in those little black bits off the football Astro and we just have so much around the house. And I feel like if I don't use the high setting on our Dyson vacuum, then things just don't get sucked up enough. This is actually why I like to use our industrial hoover when doing a big clean like this. But like I said, I just don't really have time to do that. But the high works really well, but you do get a limited amount of time with that before the battery runs out. So I'm going around hoovering all of our spaces and I'm just basically moving this Emma box around because it needs to go to the tip and I um, don't wanna leave it outside because it just looks really ugly. So I'm just moving it around the hallway. Oh, oh my goodness, I've run out of time. Right, honestly, half an hour in my world is usually quite a long time. When it comes to cleaning, it just goes like that. I'm so hot. Oh my God, I really need to go out in like 15 minutes time and I need to, I've done my makeup at least, but I still need to do my hair and get ready. So I got so far, but I haven't mopped. I don't think I've done anything properly. Like I've cleaned the bathroom, but I don't think I've cleaned it thoroughly because I was just rushing so much. However, the house looks so much better than it did. But what I am going to quickly do, because mopping will just take me five minutes, I'm going to do that now as well. And I feel like I can justify it a little bit because I had so much washing to fold up that I think that took up such a big chunk of my time. And obviously because I was filming it for you guys, I was moving the tripod around and I feel like I could add on about a minute and a half for moving the tripod and setting things up. So I'm just gonna quickly mop the floor and then once that's done, I will feel so much better. But I do feel really good. The dishwasher's on, I've got a new wash in the washing machine, which obviously I'll have to hang up once it's finished. But everywhere else looks really, really good. Let me quickly mop and then I'm just gonna give you guys a little um, tour around and show you what it looks like after the speed clean of half an hour. I do feel really motivated and energized after that, which is weird because I am so, so hot and I feel like I put my all into that, but it just shows that actually when you are productive, it does such good things for your like, um, endorphins, is that the right word? I don't know, but it does such good things for you. So let me quickly mop and then I'll give you a tour. Oh, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I always feel like when I do one of these videos, it makes me so much more motivated to clean. Like we don't have a cleaner, so it's just Chris and I that keeps on top of everything. And we're trying to train the boys to help us out as well by like emptying the dishwashers and to put their plates and bowls away. I always fold up their clothes and wash them, but then I put them on their bed so they can put them away in their wardrobe. So we're just trying to do like, all of us do a little bit around the house to make keeping on top of it a lot more manageable. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much 
much for watching. I'm now going to go and de-stink myself. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. But anyway, I'm going to go and sort myself out because I'm off out now. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.